The Silent Age is a point-and-click adventure game about time traveling. You take a role of a simple guy whose job is a janitor and his name is Joe, but soon enough he will take a role of a hero saving a whole human race out of extinction of unknown origin. Your present time in the game is 1972 and using the time machine device you will be able to switch to the year 2012 where all humans have been wiped out so it seems at least imagine with a one push of a button traveling to a world similar to last of us but with no humans and with another push of the button going back to your present so this gameplay mechanic is the one unique feature about this game otherwise it is simplified old school point and click adventure how is it simplified you ask well, you basically only use left mouse button of your mouse together with the movement of the mouse and that's it. You use it for movement, looking at things, picking them up as well as using them. There is no item combining, so one more less thing to think about and getting possibly stressed about. The game is divided into 11 chapters and you can finish the game in less than 3 hours, at least I know I did. And that makes it more like a watching a bit longer movie. So the real question here is, should you play it? Should you even bother? Well, for you who watches us regularly, there is no question if you should put it in your catalog of games on Epic Games Store, as this is where you can get it for completely free starting 31st of March 2023. And once you claim it, it is free yours forever. But you have only one week to claim it and we are all about free games from Epic and more. So if you don't want to miss the future ones, you should think about staying, you know, with that YouTube icon. I think the best thing about this game is the fact that it is mostly logical, which means you will almost never get stuck for too long. The story ignited an interest inside of me, wanting to know more how things turns out and letting me wondering, thinking of several ideas till the very end. What could happen to this future world that I'm trying to save? The game is voiced only on dialogues, which is a bit pity, because I found a voice acting good, and it would have been a lot more fun if it would be fully voiced, like you know, on every item to explore and item to combine, you just saying it out loud for himself, but I guess it makes it more realistic as you can read what he thinks and only occasionally hearing him making some sound expression. Visually this game is interesting as well. I only didn't like the visual of a main character only as his red clothes with a gradient color looks like from early photoshop graphic program to me but maybe that's just my problem as I do some color grading in real life. But if you like adventure games or always wanted to try one but was afraid of getting stuck, now is your perfect chance as I gladly recommend this game and its interesting story that keeps you attached to the monitor till the very end, short but interesting end of the game. So if you give it a chance, I think you won't be disappointed. By the way, once you finish the game, you can go back to any of the 11 episodes to replay the parts you like the most. Yet there's not much point as the game is not hiding any special hidden items to find or multiple endings. And yes, before you get to the vibe of the game you might stand somewhere and wonder what you should do next for a little bit. So for that we uploaded my full walkthrough of the game as I played it. So you can see me playing it, trying some silly things, but it will help you progress if you need to. So that's what it's for. Hope this review was useful. And I will see you in another video.